Welcome back to the Morning Blend. We have a special treat for Sandy today because we're <laughs> cooking with the machine shed and we're doing pig candy today. Mm. First, you know, it was the chocolate covered bacon, and then there was the Krispy Kreme cheeseburger. Not sure you saw that. It was a it was a cheeseburger on a Krispy Good Kreme donut. Great. Now this year, <laughs> how can they top it? Well, with some pig candy. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Don't Chef, hold out on me. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Chef Kurt Wagner is sure going to try. This year, Machine Show will be making pig candy on a stick at the Wisconsin State Fair, which starts tomorrow, actually. It sure does. So, so I hope you guys Big are all day. ready to go down there and, and, and get going. Uh, we were making about uh, 25,000 of these. Whoa. Uh, wow. For the fair. Uh, I've got my <laughs> pan few hot pounds. here, so I'm going to start while I'm yeah, talking. Yeah, because Sandy wants to know how to make this at home. We've got to add in some water <laughs> okay. and some jalapeno juice. Oh, jalapeno okay. juice. juice. And okay. Some actual jalapenos all diced up. Whoa, a little smell. spice. Your gonna, hair is going to be smell, like jalapeno. That's going to smell real spicy at first, but it's not as spicy when we're done because this is what we're going to add is a Whoa. pound of sugar. A pound of sugar? And we're going to put this right in Did there. you say a pound of sugar? A pound okay. of sugar. A little sweet now this then? Is, now, this is going to make this is gonna make a lot of bacon skewers, more than what we have here. Okay. Uh, and what I've done ahead of getting here was I took the uh, bacon itself and I skewered it. Uh, and baked it in the oven, 350 degrees, for about 20, 25 minutes. For a thick cut bacon, it's going to be a little less if you have a thinner cut on the bacon. I always did my bacon in a skillet That's until what I, was just say. I met um, Kurt and w started working with the machine shed. Now I bake it too. So you bake the bacon? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, that was the thing I was going to comment on. And then I also knew I was going to be outing myself as not quite the good cook. <laughs> I, I, I can always learn in the kitchen, always. What's the benefit so of baking, baking it? it? Well, a couple of things. One, it's going to lay a little flatter. Uh, uh, two, you're going to actually be able to get a little bit more of the grease uh, out of it. It's not actually deep frying like it does in a pan. Okay. Uh, so that's a little nicer for you. You can also do more at once. If you have a pan even this size at home, you're only going to be able to get a certain number of pieces in. Yeah. You could put three cookie sheets in if you're entertaining and get enough bacon for everybody hot and fresh all at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and since we have lots of guests, we do it on you know huge sheet trays and um, yeah. Thousands of pieces at a time. Exactly. Uh, but we've got this going now. It's just not quite ready. It's going to clear up a little bit. Okay. Uh, but in the meantime, what I brought along with me today is a whole lot of bacon related items Ooh. because yeah. we are doing. <laughs> okay, we have over here um, <laughs> bacon is meat candy, um, which I, like I love that t shirt. Guy. Is that awesome? Yeah. Uh, check that out. <laughs> There's bacon popcorn here. We have a little sign that says, friends are the bacon bits in the salad of life, huh? Everybody needs Funny. that, right? There's some bacon salt here for your popcorn. More bacon candy. This just says Will it you all. have a Yay, magnet? Bacon. Yay, bacon! <laughs> Sizzling bacon ba sunflower seeds. Now they're putting flavors on everything. See, bacon like gumballs? Wait a minute. <laughs> Everybody That's wants bacon gum. That's the best way to Because, yeah, there's no calories in bacon <laughs> gumballs. And then bacon toothpicks in case you want to um, get Funny. your teeth clean, but you want your breath to smell like bacon. And we can't talk enough about beer today. Beer yeah. and bacon. Oh, that's really cool. Yum. And these are all available at the Machine Shed gift store, right? That's correct. Fun. There are lots of great recipes with bacon. A lot um, of so. great um, gifts that you can buy in cookbooks as well. Um, mm -hmm. And we're taking a look at some of the video that we shot earlier at the gift store. I mean, there are some great mixes in there. We've done some of them here on the show. We did a funnel cake that you can buy right at the Machine Shed, but they have great T-shirts. Um, like I mentioned, cookbooks, kitchen gadgets, um, strainers, T-shirts, salt and pepper shakers, collector's items, some great knives that you have there also. Okay. Okay, so Sandy and I want to taste this. Um, is it going to be kind of, oh, it's not hot still. Okay, nope, so you nope, can nope. you can reach in and grab one there, Sandy. Now, what's the best way to eat this? Do you have to move it down the stick or uh, just kind of bite to the kinda, side? Just kind of take a bite out of okay. the side okay. of it. Very good. Uh, Thank these, you for asking. These, because they weren't quite so cold, now the, the, the handle is going to be a little mm. bit sticky. Normally, the handle is not quite so sticky. It's that salty sweet oh, thing. Wow. That's exactly right. It's got that, and then it's got that little after bite from the spice, and that's why it's called As I say, it's like it's, it's sweet because, of course, it's sugar and bacon and then it's like boop, mm -hmm. a little punchy kick. That's it's good wonderful. stuff. How can people find you at the State Fair if they want to get some bacon candy? Uh, we are actually located mm. uh, right next to the uh, We Energies uh, area. If anybody has okay. know where that is, uh, it's toward the front side of the fair. Uh, so you should be able to just uh, walk in the front doors and I believe from most of the entrances on the front side you're going to walk over to your right. 
and okay. just follow that right along. And follow your nose. <laughs> and you're going to smell the bacon smell and the jalapeno. This <laughs> is follow wonderful. Your nose. Are you still going to have chocolate covered bacon as well this year? Well, we cannot get rid of the chocolate covered bacon. That's <laughs> been a favorite for so long now that people come to the fair just for that. Awesome. Uh, and then we've also got another new item this year that we're going to be doing, which is a fry dog, which we're going to be demonstrating next, next week. week. On the show. I love it. All right, so here's the information so you can check out the machine shed. You can visit one of their two locations, Pewaukee and Appleton. Sit down with the family or coworkers or friends for a great family style me meal machineshed.com there on Facebook but don't forget to go and check them out at State Fair which starts tomorrow and runs through August 11th find their booth and sample one of these great new favorites thanks Kurt thank you